Hey, welcome to Theo Thursday. I've got a special guest today, and you might be surprised who it is. I'm going to let him introduce himself, and uh, because he's the only one left in the church building when I'm doing Theo Thursday. <laughs> so, Jacob, take it away. Hey, I'm I'm Jacob Kruger. I just graduated uh, on Sunday from Warburg Theological Seminary. I also uh, happen to be married to the deacon, Deacon Nicole Lyons. Um, who is on staff here at St. Michael. And um, yeah, I'm from originally from Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm from this synod, so yeah. Well, first of all, congratulations on your graduation and looking forward to where the Spirit leads you to go next. I'm not sure where that is. I don't know if you know where that is next. Not a, not a bit. But um, so we've been talking on Thursdays a little bit about stewardship. And you were telling me just a little bit ago about a story about probably involving stewardship uh, about your class at seminary. Tell me just a little bit about some of the decisions, some of the dynamics that uh, were involved with a gift that you your class gave to, to Warburg. Yeah, um, it's tradition at Warburg that uh, classes give a gift at the end of their uh, time at the seminary to sort of mark this, um, this passing of time and thanksgiving to Warburg Theological Seminary. Um, it's really interesting how stewardship can be framed. Um, in many cases, it's kind of a, we have to give this sort of um, obligation, whereas sort of we get, and as Lutherans, we don't give because we have to, but because we want other people to experience that joy and, and that uh, excitement, that the thing that we got to experience. So um, perhaps in a church, it's more of, um, we give because, because, we want other people to experience this life-giving word of God. Right. Like we are gifted. So we did this when we were in seminary. Um, we also gave a gift, probably some of the same dynamics. Um, hey, we just spent a boat ton of money um, going to this seminary and we don't really have a lot to, uh, left. Why should we give a gift or how do we even give a gift to the seminary? Tell me a little bit about some of the conversations maybe that you had about that. Yeah, we, we've had just a, a little conversation about how, um, you know, the point is, is that we don't, we don't have, you know, that we, again, it's not an obligation, but also just because one can give, um, you know, $5 a month, or maybe it's, maybe it's 25, uh, the gift that comes from that is from your very being and not from anybody else other than uh, what you are able to do. and. And that in itself is a gift uh, to give what you can and uh, what you're able to give. Yeah, so it's a little bit in the book that Vicar Callie and I have been reading. Mark Allen Powell talks about giving regular offerings. We give, you know, uh, offerings to the church. We might give some other kind of thing on a regular basis. And then there are special times mm -hmm. when we give above and beyond because there's, uh, there's either a special project or there's a special sense that we want to convey. There's a special sharing we want to have. That's called sacrificial giving. And that definitely comes into play when um, you talk about giving a gift as a seminarian. Um, I remember the gift that we gave um, as a class. We, you know, we spread it out over time. Um, and then as some of us um, got into the work world, we increased our gift because we were able to. And, and it was still part of that sense of sharing that seminary experience with somebody else. That's always a, it's always a big question in our lives when it comes to talk of stewardship. How much do we give? Where does it come from? Um, there's lots of things that, you know, there are lots of needs that we have as human beings. How do we figure out um, what we do with scarce resources, what we think are scarce resources? Um, but I would, I would challenge us all to consider what sacrificial giving what that does for our spiritual life um, it's more than just an amount um, that's the kind of thing that Jesus was talking about with the the, the widow um, or others when Paul is talking about giving sometimes he talks about people giving proportionately so that no one's burdened and sometimes he talks about people giving something above and beyond because that's an important piece of our spiritual life it's a challenging topic. Mm -hmm. For sure. <laughs>
Not always comfortable, no, but it's important. It's not comfortable for people, uh, leaders in the church. It's not comfortable always to talk about, and it's certainly not always comfortable in our personal lives. But it is important because through our giving, we trust that God is also working. That makes our giving sacred and holy. And, um, and we trust that whatever it is that we're uh, gifted to give, that God's spirit works through that. Well, hey, thanks for being the good uh, sport, Jacob. <laughs> and uh, I look forward to seeing everyone next Thursday for another installment of Theo Thursday. Have a great day. See you later.